It's not my fault. Yeah, sometimes I strike innocent victims. I can't help it. It's just my natural reaction when something invades my space. And now I look like the bad guy. So if you want to protect your pet from rattlesnakes, here are a couple things you can do. First, if you hear this sound, that's a warning to stay away. Now here's Dr. Mansfield to tell you a little more. Okay, um, out in this area of Granite Bay, we frequently find some of our dogs are bit by rattlesnakes. And this happens usually out at Folsom Lake. We have a lot of people that come from other areas, Rockland, Loomis, uh, Roseville, they take their pets out here and, you know, they're running off lead out in the trails and stick their nose in a bush and that's usually where they end up getting bit on the snout, on the lip, on the neck. Snake bite is a very painful issue. It uh, causes localized pain. Um, the venom actually starts to cause death of the tissue at the bite of the injections, but there's also systemic effects, uh, effects distant in the body can affect the heart. They go into shock. Um, they need to be treated right away. Um, usually the first line of treatment is something called antivenin and that's what this little bottle is. This is uh, one bottle of antivenin. It basically has neutralizing uh, proteins in here to bind up the venom from the rattlesnake and neutralize it. Um, a mild snake bite might do fine with one bottle. Sometimes I have dogs that receive two to three bottles. These are expensive. These run $750 or more at times. So, um, but the dogs need to be seen. They need to be treated for shock. They need to be treated for pain. And they need to have their venom neutralized with the uh, rattlesnake antivenin. Another way around this is to vaccinate the dog with a vaccine. This is a uh, rattlesnake vaccine. Uh, cost is around $35. Um, dogs initially will get one of these vaccines. We repeat it in a month. Uh, for most dogs, it's given once a year. There are dogs that have uh, environments where there's a lot of rattlesnakes year-round. Those dogs might benefit by having a, a, a third booster, you know, maybe midway in the rattlesnake season. Uh, so usually we try to get the dogs initially uh, vaccinated for this, like maybe March the first one, April the second one, and then um, maybe six months later, you know, sometime around September, uh, if they're going to be con uh, continuing in snake country. Um, but out here in Granite Bay, uh, it is a problem. There are people that live in uh, neighborhoods around here. Their dogs find the snakes in the backyard and get bit. But then again, the folks in the surrounding areas like Rockland and Roosevelt, Loomis, they you know, will come out here too and not realize there's a problem. Giving this vaccine is equivalent to one to two of these circulating. So this is a great investment if your dog's going to be exposed to rattlesnakes. Don't leave your pets unprotected. Head to Granite Bay Veterinary Clinic and get your pet vaccinated right away. Because one bite from me could cost you thousands or even your pet's life.